Hey everybody, Ann here, and I'm just going to do a simple little cooking thing. Um, I didn't show this, but I took a sausage out of the package, put it in the pan, and I'm now browning it. I also chopped up a hollow peanut pepper, and it is in there, kind of cooking with it too. Uh, last night, I put some beans. Actually, I only had one cup of beans, and I put water on it, and it's all the way to the top, and they weren't completely soaked yet, so cut it in half. Added some more water, and they've been smoked, uh, soaking. Excuse me, they've been soaking since yesterday. And I'll add those in a bit, along with some dehydrated tomatoes. And um, let's see, I don't know, whatever else I can find to put in it. I'll be back. I think that's brown enough. Now I'm going to put in. This is not cold water. Um, it is just room temperature water. I'm going to pour my beans in. One. Two. Ooh. Huh, those are stuck in there. Hang on, I'll get those out. Alrighty, there we go. That looks pretty good. And I do think they're going to need some more water because I'm going to add some dehydrated stuff to it. So let's add a little bit of water. Good bit of water. <sighs> I wonder if that's enough. I hope so. I'll find out in a minute. Alrighty, let me go find those dehydrated tomatoes and other vegetables. Be right back. Hey, got my dehydrated tomatoes and my dehydrated other stuff. And uh, kind of hard to do this with one hand so well with this oh i'm just gonna sprinkle it in there sprinkle about half of it in there it's got great green beans it's got red peppers green peppers onions um that means i'm not going to be able to feed betty any of this that's okay she's you know what i've noticed she is losing weight and because she's been eating a lot of people food uh, I need to get her back exclusively on her kibble because I think that's better for her. Okay, then I am just going to kind of break up some of these dehydrated tomatoes, throw them into, and uh, then find other stuff to put in it. Alrighty, I'll be back. Okay, let's see. I'm going to add some homegrown cilantro. I need to get rid of it. It's probably not the best <coughs> dried cilantro I've ever had. So I'm just going to put a bunch in there. Whoops. Put you in there too. I'm going to add some garlic, of course. I think that's enough. A little bit of cumin. If that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. It's not coming out very good. There we go. Okay. And, yep, a little bit of turmeric. That's enough. Alrighty. Gonna stir this stuff up and see how it turns out. And I think I'm gonna have to add some more water. That's cool. I've got plenty. I think this is gonna be delicious. And you know what? It's got beans in it, but I may end up adding some elbow macaroni as well. So, when it's getting closer to being done, um, I'll let you know, but for now, I'm going to reduce the heat and cover it. I do have a proper lid, but um, these little pans are, <laughs> they're, they're about spent, so I'm just going to go ahead and dirty this up and use it as a lid and um, throw it out when I'm done. So, I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, everything is reconstituting really nicely. The beans are about half done. And there's not a whole lot of extra water left, and I want to add some macaroni, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water. There we go. And I actually don't have mac uh, elbow macaroni. I've got this kind. So we're just going to add a few handfuls of these. Ah, I think that's enough. Let's see. Oops. Sorry. One hand. Um, where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? Okay. Did I just drop? Of course. <laughs> All right. Mm. Ooh, this is going to be good. 
Yeah. Mm, I think we need, we need one more nice handful of these. And then it's going to be good. Um, I didn't add any salt or additional pepper or anything like that. Well, first of all, I'm out of pepper uh, because there's plenty of salt in the sausage. So, um, it's really spicy. I've tasted it. It's really spicy. We just need to, the rest of the vegetables to kind of, you know, permeate through and the onions and whatnot. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about 15, 20 minutes longer and we'll be done. This is looking really, really good. It's just about done. You can see how the, the tomatoes look like they've kind of given it off a little bit of color there. Um, the macaroni's done. I'm just going to let it cook for a little bit longer. Maybe the sauce can kind of thicken up a little bit or dissipate or whatever. I'm going to try and cook some of this fluid off. And then we will come back for a taste test. It's going to be good. I already know. Alrighty, as you can see, it is done. It looks great. I had a little tortilla that seems fitting to go with it. And, of course, a little bit of cheese. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see how this tastes. Let me get a little bit of the cheese in with it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it is very good. I don't know what to call it. It's spicy. Got a lot of flavor. I cannot wait to eat the rest of this. Oh my goodness, it's so good. All right. Uh so yeah, we all figure out a name for this dish. And uh that's what I'll call it from here on out. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, gosh, you know what? Y'all have a good one. <laughs>